Okay guys, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of our SP gimbal. This is an updated version with a joystick on it. You're gonna get your manual and your warranty card. You wanna go ahead and go online and fill that out. You're gonna get your gimbal. You're gonna get a set of batteries and you're gonna get a charger, a USB cord. The charger is pretty basic. You put your batteries in. When they're charging, the lights go red. When they're done charging, they turn blue or green. And that is all there is to it. The batteries simply go in the handle just like a flashlight with the uh, bump side that way. And then you screw your cap on and make sure it's nice and tight. I've already got it set in here. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up our phone. Very, very easy process. This little clamp is just spring loaded so you just set the phone right in there clamp it in you want to push it up against the motor as close as you can right there and now you're ready to go so when you initially start it up you want to lay it down on a flat surface to make sure it's not moving so if you are getting into a plane or a boat or a car or something like that you want to do this beforehand so we'll go ahead and this is the power button here the gold one so we'll go ahead and hit that you'll see a blue light come on and it's calibrated so very simple obviously the motors aren't working yet in order to get the motors to work you want to go ahead and hit this button so the joystick if you push it in acts like a button so i'm going to go ahead and just hold it in my hand i'm going to push the button in for about three seconds and you'll see that the gimbal is now activated so what it just did is it went into portrait mode if i was to go ahead and flip it this way it goes into a portrait mode and if you go ahead and flip it this way it goes into a portrait mode that way so pretty cool new feature when you do start it up it will default into the pan follow mode and what that's going to do is feather out any of your pan moves while keeping your camera perfectly straight no matter what you're doing here or if you want to tilt it a little bit one way or the other you can use your joystick and move that and then that will go ahead no matter what you're doing if you're using your joystick it's going to keep it nice and wherever you want it this way in mode two by clicking this button twice you just go one two now you're going to see as i tilt the can or the gimbal the camera's going to tilt as well this is really nice if you're doing sports shots or if you're following somebody down some stairs and you don't have the, the motion, it's, it seems a little bit more natural to me to use this. So pretty cool feature there. In this mode as well, you can go into the upside down mode. And in this mode, it's really nice because you can go ahead and get some really low shots to the ground. And then all the features will work the same in the upside down mode. So if you wanna put it in the lock mode when you're here, click that button one time, and that's gonna put you into the mode where all of a sudden my horizon is going to stay no matter what I do. And then if I want to lock it, I can click it one more time and you'll see now as I'm moving it left and right, it's going to hold that position. Again, to get out of that mode, click it once. Now you'll see it's going to follow again. Now I want to flip it back over. So I got to go back into mode two, which is our pan follow tilt mode. And now I can flip it back over. Now, if I go back into mode one, I just click it once. Now I'm back in the pan follow mode. And in this position, I can click it once as well and I can lock it in. So if you know that you're gonna be walking a certain direction for a period of time and you know that you don't want the camera to be moving side to side as you're doing that, you can just push the button once and put it in the lock mode. And then no matter what you're doing, you're straight, you're gonna stay straight. When you're ready to get out of that mode, just click it one more time and now you're back into the pan follow mode. If you are getting into a boat or a car or something like that that's moving, you wanna calibrate it first. And then you can go ahead and put it in a standby mode. So you can see that the light's flashing, it's indicating that this is powered up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push the button in, hold it in for about three seconds, and you'll see that the motors are gonna stop working. But the light is still on. So that's gonna put me in a standby mode. It's gonna hold the calibration. So what I did here is basically just calibrated it, put it on hold. Now I can go get in the car, get in the boat, whatever I'm gonna be doing. And I can go ahead and grab it. I can go ahead and turn the motors on by pushing the button for three seconds. And I still have that calibration and this is gonna operate in its very best capacity doing that. 
So when you are ready to turn it off, the gold button is the power and you can shut it down. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful and uh, you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to go to evogimbals.com and you can email us or call us. Thanks so much.